Hello everybody, my name is Dragon and welcome to an all updated FZMM mod tutorial. Uh, it has been a while since I last made my old tutorial and good old uh, Zayla has uh, introduced quite a few uh, new features which make the mod a whole lot easier to use. So I would like to go through some of the uh, basics of the mod today with you and we'll get right into it. So, to get started, we're going to be opening the FCMM GUI, and to open this menu, we just hit the Z key. You can change this in your keybinds or your controls. Once you open this menu, you'll be presented with a whole bunch of options, which uh, we're, we're going to get into. We're going to get into those today. <laughs> First of all, we're going to talk about the head generator. Now, once you open this, you have a whole bunch of options up here. Uh, by default, it will usually be on name. Uh, by name, all you do is type in the username of a user you want to grab the head of, and you're able to change it, so to get rid of the 3D layer overlap, so it mixes the, uh, the these hats with the skin, and pre-edit none, which just leaves the skin as it is. Uh, as you can see, this causes a bit of clipping with some of the items, but... This is where you get a whole lot of choices for hats, uh, silly little things like this, great for role players, and uh, most importantly, what I know a lot of people are watching this for, plushies. Oops, my bad. <laughs> Immediately spells it wrong. Um, so to get started, of course, we've got a few options here. We've got one in a minecart, a boat, these different like shaped variants, and this really funny one in a cage. So I'm going to put mine on pre-edit non to keep, make sure all my layers are in there. And I'm just going to hit give. And in a few seconds, sometimes you have to wait a little bit, um, it should give you a version of your head as a little plushie. Isn't that sweet? And, um, yeah, this is basically the magic behind how to make plushies, which you may have seen on a few servers like Creative Fun. Um, and yeah, you can do a lot with this. Uh, I'll show you what other things to do. So let me just delete these out of here. So over here it says head, load the skin by, uh, load the skin by the player's head. By that, when you put load, it looks into your inventory. And whatever ha heads you have in your inventory, you can then select them. Hit done, and then you can edit them again. Uh, so if I wanted to put a little hat on my plushie, I can do that now. Okay, next up we have file dialog. Select an image from your PC. Now this is a absolutely new feature. Before, um, before you used to have to put in the file path. If you want to know how to put in a file path, I have that for my older version tutorial. Uh, but basically you would have to copy file as path and put the file path in there. But now, as of 1.20.1, .1, and it might have also been backported, uh, if you now hit load image, it will just open your file explorer and then you can go select your skin from there. Uh, from screenshot, this is a strange one, but it lets you take a, a screenshot and turn that into a skin. Um, literally, I, I, I don't know the point of this one. Uh, I've never seen anyone use it, but hey, if you want to do it, you can do it. And then the last option over here is URL, and it's pretty self-explanatory. Up here in the top, you will paste the URL of a skin that you want to import into here, and it will load in here. Pre pretty much that is the basics of the head generator, so on to the next one. Okay, so we're back in our menu and we have a few options. Um, let's go to head gallery. So. If you're familiar with skulls and just heads in general, this is an amazing tool. I believe it uh, uses the Minecraft Heads website uh, to give you this amazing database of heads, which is really neat to have client side. Uh, but yeah, if you need letters, anything, you know, animals, blocks, food and drinks, once again, this is brilliant for, you know, builders and roleplay, and I just think it's a really neat tool to have. You, there are thousands of options to choose from. Uh, let, let's, uh, let's pick one. Let's get this cat over here. And, oh, I got it literally instantly. Okay, uh, back in the menu. Well, let's keep going. Let's keep this moving. Banner generator. Now, this is probably the most efficient thing in the world. Um, I do think there's room for improvement, because, like, at the moment, when you hover over, it doesn't show any of the names of the patterns, which can get a little confusing when you start making a lot of stuff. 
This banner editor actually allows you to make it with the command block limit, so I believe with a loom you can only use six patterns, and in a command block you're able to use eight. You can use eight patterns in here. Uh, let, let's do something simple. Let's go over here to change the color of my banner. Let's uh, let's pick uh, red. Let's click add patterns. We're gonna make the, a letter. Let's make the letter um, E. Let's make E today. <laughs> So we start. I'm gonna start off with this line. Now I've got to find. As you can see, this is where it starts getting a little difficult. What I do to, is usually I just switch to another color till I find what I need. Uh, da, 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 there we go. And now I'm just gonna bish, bash, uh, bosh, and I'm gonna outline that. And look, we have already made a banner, and it's just as simple and quick as that. Uh, give banner and then as well we can make it a shield we can give ourselves it as a shield very very nifty very helpful um would highly recommend this okay uh what else have we got um uh, image text oh this one's great fun let's uh let's let me open one from my computer for you all let's see let's see what we can get in here okay oh it's a little a little uh yeah, um, let's, let's do play a statue. Now, I believe this will only work in... It won't work on most servers because most it uses uh, commands and of course most have commands disabled. Let's, uh, how do I know? Let's do west. Um, statue name. Me, call on the three. Uh, <laughs> let's do my username. It auto fills there. Load and done. Uh, I didn't quite check where it's generating. Uh, it's gonna take a little while whilst it's running all the commands for it. Uh, it's supposed to do. Oh, oh wait, here it is. Here it is. Hold on, I've. Uh, I keep getting this. Oh, invalid. You're trying to rotate the camera. Ah, there we go. Okay, yeah, I'm kind of new to the play statue, but I know what it does is it kind of uh, places down a almost NPC type uh, structure of your player. It is pretty cool. Let's see, place. Okay, and it is now auto placing. And back. Um, oh, there it is! <laughs> it has spawned in! There we have it guys, this is my player statue. As you can see it's made up of a lot of different parts. Um, I'm not entirely sure how it works, I, I want to say it uses armor stands. Um, but yeah, look at that, that's really cool, uh, I like that a lot. But yeah, this this works on single player and uh, it probably won't work on most servers, so yeah. I would recommend just having a play around with this yourself, seeing what works, what doesn't. I think it looks great. I think this has worked out quite well. Um, but there you have it. This has been mainly our overview of FCMM. Okay, everyone. So history, you might have seen this appear in the tab. This just shows you all of the recent things you've generated. So say, for example, you just made an item and you accidentally deleted it. You can now immediately go grab that back. You can go in. Oh, uh, as you can see, all the headpieces of my statue are here too. So if I wanted to, I could um, get my shoe. <laughs> oh, that's great. Let's show you text format now. Text format allows you just to kind of name an item. Let's You can do it as a um, set item name, set law name. Let's do set item name. So we have, um, let's get an arm stand. I believe this works, I might be wrong. Okay, you can't see it on the- let me get out the sheep. Okay, hello Mr. Sheep, uh, you are my favourite test subject today, so you are getting renamed. There we go. Ah, uh, Meow is his name now, because I've got this name tag that I've named this gradient. Okay, let's uh, show you one last thing. If you hit E and you go into your page 2, you can now see that you have all of these block states so if I wanted to place an already lit candle, or let's say a slice of cake, or a lit redstone lamp, uh, what else we got? Let's get a loot chest, a jungle temple, let's see. So here we go, lit candle, already lit, 
pretty cool. A slice of cake, just place a slice of cake. Um, yeah, okay, let's see the lamp. This is helpful for building, whoops. <laughs> I, I updated the uh, block state, I think, by, uh, yeah. Let's see the chest. So this should be, it says loot not generated yet, I want to hover over it, let's have a look. And there we have it, it has generated some loot for us. Let's get another one. Yeah, okay, the, yeah, okay, that, it actually um, generates a loot table for that structure in here. Um, and there you have it everybody, that is the FZMM mod. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and be sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment, and if you have any questions or you want any more information, you can always see my last tutorial which was more focused on the head generation side of FCMM. I have some pretty useful uh, stuff on there, I show people how to make um, Armistead R and use uh, Photo P or Photoshop and yeah I think we can leave it all here today guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, my brain is fried. The FCMM is FCMMing. Um, my cat is snoring in the background. <laughs> We'll see you all, you guys all next time. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you for watching and bye bye.